On November the 11th, 1918, the world celebrated as a defeated German Empire laid down its arms and surrendered. World War I had finally come to an end. That same day, another astonishing event was taking place. In Vienna, Austria, after 650 years as one of the ruling families of Europe, the Habsburgs were giving up control of their Austro-Hungarian Empire. It was the end of an age, the end of a way of life, and the man on whom this burden fell was Emperor Karl I. My grandfather did not anticipate that the empire would disintegrate because, think about that, the monarchy had been in place for over 600 years and it had always adapted through marriage, through wars, but it had always adapted. So when you have been around for 600 years, it's hard to imagine that overnight that would be over. But it was over. And for the rest of his brief life, Karl, the last emperor of Austria and king of Hungary, remained an anachronism, a man whose time had passed. The reality is that Karl comes to the throne at an incredibly difficult time. He tries his best. Uh, it simply was not in the cards. My grandfather, he was a very good person, and he had very good judgment. But still, uh, I think he didn't achieve anything. Uh, that was very striking in his case. He, whatever he tried was a disaster. But still, it was important for him to try 